Today we're going to look at the RGB Curve tool, which is a new color tool in 2009.1. I'm going to select that by pressing the color button on my panel and selecting the RGB tool. Now you'll notice that once the RGB tool has been selected, we have a base color and a master RGB curve indicator on the panel. We've got an X and a Y coordinate button, uh, a strength button and a curve button. Current selected point is 2 of 2, in other words it'll be the one on the top right. 1 of 2 would be in the bottom left. I've got the same tools available for red, green and blue. If I hit the master button twice you'll see I now have tools to select the previous or next point. I have tools to add a point to the left or to the right of the currently selected point, to delete the selected point and to clear all of them. What I'm going to do however, I'm going to show this to you in the GUI just so that you can see the effect that we have on the footage. So in the RGB curve tool we have four histograms. We have a master histogram, a red, green and a blue histogram. We can enable and disable those uh, separately just to view the effect of what we're doing. We can set the curve between smooth and linear for each histogram and we have a strength button that will affect the overall strength of what we've applied. We got a reset button and we have an eyedropper tool. So the most straightforward way to work with the curves is simply to click. It will automatically add a point at the uh, origin where you click and you can go and drag the curve in the way that you want. So very quick easy way of adding contrast, uh, removing color casts. Now if I want to cut and paste curves I can very easily do that by selecting the master curve, control C and control V will allow me to cut and paste. I can use the reset button to individually reset each curve or as I indicated earlier if you want to change that to a linear or smooth you can do that using the curve button. Now one of my favorite things about this tool is the ability to use the eyedropper to select any particular area and by simply moving the mouse up and down to affect that area by adding or removing color in that area. It's very easy for me to go and add or remove blue based on particular values that I've selected using my mouse. So the curve tool, very handy, very easy to use. I'd recommend that you try and use it from the panel. Uh, I guess many people would prefer to use the mouse, uh, but I hope that you enjoy the RGB curve tool.